How's it going? Hosey Boy 81. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update of kind of where I'm at with this build. Ordered this uh, chassis um, over the holidays um, from the RC Pro Drive website. They were doing a 12 days of Christmas. It's just the RC Pro Drive Trail Finder 2. I know in my previous video um, I said this was the long wheelbase, but it's just the regular standard one uh, for the Mojave. Um, so yeah, so let's go over kind of where I'm at with this. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I've had this body for a while. Kind of made it a little rustic look. I just recently got all the marker lights, the door handles, and the headlights on there. I kind of dulled them out a little bit because they were chromed. I didn't want to go with that with the build. In there, a little World Atlas uh, Coca-Cola diamond plate. She uh, doesn't have any legs. Um, had to chop them off. I think I still have them. I'll try to put them on there. But uh, if anything, I'll just switch out a driver. So the front. Um, I was looking at the round headlights uh, grill assembly. Uh, so I might go with that, um, but for now, it's just the standard one that comes on the Mojave. I'm going to keep the stock bumper. I know in my previous video I mentioned that I might uh, chop this part off and add a different bumper, but I'm gonna, just going to go with this one. This is the driver's side. I thought the paint came out pretty good. Still learning how to do the kind of patina rust look still got to cut the body post in the back um i did order a classic or yeah i think it's classic a white um, toyota emblem i'm gonna probably end up dolling that out as well um, i'm not trying to make anything too flashy here as you can see the white is not um not really shiny so uh, the only thing that I still have to work on would be the wheels. And I did choose to go with the Wild Peak Falcons uh, 155s, and which is the stamp steel um, uh, bead locks uh, for now. I might switch out the bead locks, um, but I'm going to definitely keep the tires on this build. Um, I like the narrow um, look of these tires. Uh, rock sliders. Um, I just have these on there for right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep these. I think I might order the A&M Garage. Um, they have like a little slider that doesn't stick out as very far. So I might order those up and try and see how that looks. Um, but for now, it's just the stock rock sliders on there. The back bumper. Um, it's just a plastic one that comes on the kit. Uh, it does normally have a little arch that goes over, I got a bumper right here to show you. So right there, um, I'm probably not gonna keep the plastic one on here, but it was just kinda for my visual mock-up. Um, so I'll probably go with like an aluminum bumper or maybe just make my own. So I mentioned in my <clears throat> last video that I wanted to kind of keep this build uh, kind of like a two-wheel drive pickup truck, but obviously this is four-wheel drive, but uh, I just kind of wanted to keep this build low. So I did order up the RC Pro Drive lowering blocks. Uh, those should be coming at the end of the week. I do need to still order up the a &M Garage. Uh, anti-wrap bar and then probably the shackle reverse um, but that'll come later um, but more worried about getting the lowering kit in and the anti-wrap bar because um, I have some issues that are coming up with that so I really need the anti-wrap bar and I'll show you guys that here uh, shortly so if you can see the the gap or the height difference of the front versus the rear and I had some extra K&K &K hardware and this was just to get kind of a basic idea of 
where I wanted to go with the right height. And I am not entirely sure yet of how low it's going to make it with the lowering blocks, but uh, when those come in, I'll, I'll see. I'm hoping that it'll it'll stay around uh, right here. Um, but we'll just do from the ground to the bottom of the fender flare. Sits right at right at 11, 11 and a half. And then the front the front is around about 13. So just running a one leaf in the front. And that kind of puts it down to about 11. So hoping the lowering blocks lowers it down pretty good. If if uh, if it lowers it down more, I'm fine with that. But uh, once those come in, uh, I won't know. So let me take the uh, body off and I'll show you guys uh, why I really need that anti-rat bar. All right, we'll start with the front. So just went with the um, Enduro uh, 21 turn 550. I have this in my Mojave, my other one, uh, which is right here. I get really good low speed control in first gear and second gear, I get uh, the wheel speed that I need. Went with a 35kg BETU servo off of Amazon. Haven't tried this brand yet, uh, so we'll see how it, how it holds up. Made my own uh, inner fenders. Just painted those up uh, last night. I get the little uh, lasagna single frozen dinners that they have in the frozen aisle. And just um, chop them in half and kind of form them to... Um, the you know the inner fender of the body until it until it looks right. So um, kind of had a little boo boo on this part right here. Just kind of patched it up because you can kind of see too much in there. Um, not the prettiest look. Not the prettiest look, but it um, you know it'll work. It saved me I don't know seventeen bucks. I'm not entirely sure how much the inner fenders are now. Um, but yeah, this has a two speed transmission, so still need to get a server. So I went to fuel tank in the rear. Um, on the Mojave's, I'm not sure, or just any Toyota pickup. I think it's more towards the, the back of the bed or the front of the bed, um, behind the rear window. Um, but I just went with it right there. Thought it looked kind of cool. Um, kind of jumping around here. One with the body are the set screws in the front to hold the body on and then just the body clips in the back or body post underneath uh, i'm going to order up some different drive shafts once everything gets set to where i like then i'll order those up but for now it's just the stock uh, drive shafts i did go with the Bauhaus high clearance skid so right here, so this is why I need the anti-rat bar. And there's a K and K. There's a K and K hardware that I used just to get a basic idea. So if I was to go forward, let me move the camera so you guys can see it better. When I go forward, the shackles just suck right in. So Definitely don't like that. So definitely need that uh, anti-wrap bar to help out with that. Because with using that K&K hardware, you see the angle that the rear shackle is now. Um... So yeah, so once those come in, I'll try to address that. But yeah, she's coming along. Uh, a few more things I need to get. Uh, order uh, 
Actually, I might have some extra ESCs laying around, so, um, but definitely need to get a shift servo. So that's kind of where I'm at with the build. Oh, the shocks. Um, just a 60 or 80 mils, I think, in around the front. I know the rear is a little bit longer. I think these are 100 mils, uh, but don't quote me on that. You can put it in the comments below. Um, but once I get the lowering kit in and see what uh, millimeter shocks I'll need to get, I'll get those ordered up. I actually might still have some extra RC Pro Drive ones. I typically use the Bilstein shocks. Um, so I might go with those. I did order these uh, Ranchero Rancho shocks, uh, but these are the 100 mils, so I'll probably use these on one of my other RC Pro Drive um, trucks. But yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think on how the build is coming along. Apologize on the long video. But just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. So you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll talk to you later.